Good morning, my friendlies, and I hope this finds you doing good today. It is Saturday, and it is already 74 degrees outside and humid, so it's pretty warm. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be miserable today. It was quite miserable yesterday because it was so hot and humid, but we made it through the day, didn't we, my friendlies? How are my walking warriors doing today? Hopefully this video finds you doing good. Um, so today I thought, just kind of a different switch up, I went on ahead and did some research and I found three different dumb criminal cases that I thought that I would share with you that I really got a chuckle out of. Um, some people shouldn't be allowed to walk and talk at the same time. Some people shouldn't be allowed to chew bubble gum and tie their shoes at the same time. And some people shouldn't be allowed to commit crimes, come to find out. So let's get on it, shall we? Blake Leak 23 was trying to rob a convenience store. First off, that's your problem. <clears throat> He was trying to rob a convenience store. Police found Mr. Leak and started to chase him through the streets of Ossing, Ossining, New York. But unfortunately, the police ran into each other and fell. So, when I hear this, I think of like those old Laurel and Hardy skits where the police officers are running around and they like run straight fa face first into each other. Mr. Leak took this opportunity to scale the first fence he saw, but I guess he really should have been paying attention because Mr. Leak was promptly detained by a guard in Sing Sing Maximum Security Prison. So basically, he did the cop's job for him. He broke into a prison trying to escape going to prison. All they needed to do was to assign him a cell. So how's that for you? So Mr. Leak here is trying to escape. He's trying to run away from the law. He's trying to out with the cops and he thinks, oh, I'm gonna climb up this first fence that I f find. Don't you think the razor wire would have given it away? I'm surprised you didn't get caught up on the razor wire because you know at the top of prison fences how they have raisin wire. Or maybe that's just on the inner perimeter fence. Maybe this was an outer perimeter fence that just was a fence. But regardless, he was caught and life went on. A man walks into a bank in Beaver Creek, Ohio. It's already starting to sound like a bad joke, isn't it? After walking up to the teller, he promptly fainted. So the teller, not knowing what happened, not knowing if he had had a heart attack or if he had fainted or what have you, did what she was supposed to do and promptly called 911 for an ambulance. So, while they're waiting for the ambulance to show up, he calls the teller closer to him. The teller walks up to him, and he hands her a handwritten note that says, Give me all of your money. This is a stick-up. So, she calls back 911 and says, While you're at it, can you please send the police? Because this man that fainted and fell and hit his head is also trying to rob our bank. So, I guess moral of the story to that one is make sure you don't have a Vagal Vegas problem if you're trying to rob a bank. Oh, I guess there's four cases. Two men decided to steal from an office supply store. This one I read and I started laughing hysterically. So, two men decide that they're going to go into an office supply store because it's back to school sale and it's going to be 
the perfect time to shoplift, right? Everybody's going to be busy. It's just going to be pandemonium inside the store. Now would be the perfect time to go shoplift whatever they want. The only thing is, is what they didn't take into consideration is, is that this local town did a cop to shop with. Um, sorry, brain fart. Called shop with a cop where the police office department the police department sends cops out to kids that are less fortunate and they do some back to school shopping um i know they have those around here in hillsboro where it's not just the police it's just anybody in particular they can go shopping for it's it's around Christmas time here, though, but they go shopping for um, presents and clothes and whatever they may need. Well, this is shop with a cop for school supplies. So the cop takes the, to the child to this office supply store and they shop with a cop to get their office supplies for school. But they're all plain clothed police officers at this point because it's their day off. So these two idiots decide to go steal from this store and decide that they're going to shoplift virtually whatever they want. And they get caught by 60 plus police officers dressed in plain clothing. That one had me laughing for a good 20 minutes. And then this one had me laughing for a good half an hour. So James Washington of Nashville, Tennessee, thought he was having a heart attack and that he was dying. So can you imagine you wake up or you're sitting there and all of a sudden a pain strikes you in the heart and you feel like you're having a heart attack. It's in your back, it's going down your arms, it's in your chest. And so what's the first thing most people do that may have done something wrong? Well, they confess. They confess to whatever crimes they may have committed, right? To their loved one. So what does he do? He confesses to his loved one about a murder that he committed 17 years prior. So ambulance takes him to the hospital finds out, no, he's not having a heart attack, he's having acid reflux. But by then, his family had gone ahead and called the police officers, the police department, and reported that he had proclaimed his guilt to a murder that had happened 17 years beforehand. Some people just, and they allow some of these people to procreate too. That's what doesn't, I just, I have no words. I really, I have no words. So now that we've done our little fun tidbit for the day and I've kind of stumbled through it, I want to know how your walking has been. I've managed to get in about 40 miles over the last three days. And I wanted to know how you guys have been doing. Well, maybe not 40, maybe 35. Between 35 and 40. And I wanted to know how you all were doing. I did meet a couple ladies that live in my apartment complex yesterday that they waved at me and they're like, there she is, princess. And I thought they were talking to somebody behind me until they pointed at me and go, no, you. And I was like, oh, me, you know, like me. So they, um, 
<clears throat> wanted to tell me how proud of me they are because they saw me before when I could barely walk a couple distances and now that I'm walking all the time they said that they've noticed a huge difference they said that they're very proud of me that they've noticed a huge difference in my weight though I feel bad because my blood sugar was low this morning and instead of eating a healthy breakfast to try to bring it up naturally I ate a Linder truffle bar not the thing to do but I was eager to get out here and get walking. It was so hot and stuffy in the apartment, though. That I just wanted to get outside. Um, don't. I mean, there's cheat days. Cheat days are fine. But don't get stuck in having every day be a cheat day or cheating every day with something. Luckily, that's like pretty much all the cheat that I've had over the last week and a half. So, you tell me. Leave me a message in the comments. How has your walking been doing have you been walking like you should be have you discussed with your doctor about doing a weight loss program that includes walking have you discussed with your doctor about you wanting to lose weight those are the first questions i should be asking because that's the very first thing you should be doing is at talking to your doctor before starting a weight loss program Um, how are you doing other than that? Have you been maybe adjusting your food to where you adjust what you're eating? Have you been careful about what you're putting into your body? Have you been um, watching what you eat and watching what what your calorie intake is and what your cholesterol intake is and whatnot? Do you have you thought about switching to turkey burger instead of hamburger and if you have how do you think it tastes do you think it tastes just as good or do you think it tastes bad or what um do you have any recipes that you would like to share with anybody else so i think that doing this video vlog is too much five days a week I think maybe doing it every other day is probably good which would be like three or four days a week so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that but I think just doing it five days a week is just too much I know that I've been stressing about it and I stress about numbers, I stress about viewers and subscribers, and I know that I shouldn't be. I mean, eight subscribers and I've only been doing this for two weeks is pretty good. Considering nobody knows me from Joe, you know. So, I'm just going to start doing it every other day. So, today is Saturday, I'll do it again next on Monday. and we will see how it goes from there if you have any suggestions as to what you would like me to talk about leave them in the comment box below I would love to talk about what you want me to talk about instead of just idlessly rambling
so and with that I am going to go ahead and sign off for the day and I would love to hear some of your ideas so I hope to hear some of your ideas as to what you want to hear about so I can start making podcast about what you want to hear about and not what I think that we should talk about so much and yeah I will hear from you soon peace out people